Hello, I'm Marcelo Garcia, VFX Executive Producer of The Bass of Night, studio partner at Warner VFX. We were first approached by Andrew to do this shot because he knew our work and he had felt confident we could help him accomplish his unique vision for the shot and for his movie. So we came up from Argentina and did the location scout with Andrew several months before production. And on this scout, we worked through a path that later will become the Warner shot. Then we went back to Buenos Aires with a lot of questions of how to achieve it as he envisioned. We took a few months to think and to design the shot, and we present a shooting plan during pre-production. This involved camera department, production design, grip, and electric all working together. And when we got the green light from everyone involved, the magic start. Hello, I'm Rodrigo Tommaso, visual effect designer and visual effect supervisor on this show. So the main challenge was mixing three different locations in different shooting days with different camera transportation methods. The main CGI was used for creating the three camera transitions through different locations. We finished our first travel path and day of shooting. The camera finished the road by driving into the green screen located behind the lines of real trees. The first transition happens at the end of this backyard. Everything we see in the background beyond that green screen is a CGI replica of the background in our second location or plate. So along this first transition, we are seeing not only CG trees, but also a full CG background created digitally with more trees and grass entering into frame, while we adapt the CG camera pan movement with the one in the go-kart that comes from the second plate in the next following shooting day. The most complex camera blending is the following that happens when the camera enters the shim. There is another full green screen in the doorway, beyond these people cheering. Here is where the third plate came up. It was inserted in the green screen as a background since this plate is seen from the previous long and straightforward path traveled by the go-kart camera. So we had to calculate the game plan with enough time as we get into the court. Because of this, what we see at that previous moment is a 3D projection of the same plate. A shot set for the perspective to match the low angle camera in the go-kart. Once we got into the green screen, the blending was so near the camera in plain sight that we had to erase and to rebuild digitally different elements that didn't match between the two plates. The frame doors and the less wooden walls are examples of what we had to deal with to match both takes. It's worth mentioning that all this was done in 6K of resolution and there were many of the classic and chronic digital cleanups since this film was set in the 50s. And looks like he's gonna go for the shot. No, he's gonna hand it off. Okay, Got it. there's the shot uh, and two more points. You know, I think he can make it from anywhere. Will Indian team has the ball again. Pass when we get near the window is when the fourth plate and the last camera blending happens until we reach the outside again. We started the last shooting day with the camera mounted on the crane until we descended to get into the pickup truck and run by the radio station to continue on foot until we got into the phone close-up. To align the shim interior take with the third outdoor location we have to use 3D mapping techniques to match both takes. Here we employ digital background reconstruction hiding elements behind fake trees and did many modern removal as well. I think that as part of the team, we helped to solve the loneliness and the mystery of this camera long travel through the town, making the viewer believe in what they are seeing. That is what we like the most, help to tell stories. 